Hey guys, I'll be showing you guys how to make this banner right here in Photoshop Touch and Pixel Lab. So let's get started with this tutorial. Hey guys, what you have to do is open up Pixel Lab and now I'm in Pixel Lab. So just go and edit your text. So what you're gonna be doing is go and open up your test first words, for example. I'm gonna write new text. So first of all I'm gonna type new and then go to the background section and make it transparent now you're gonna go and just get the font Evugia just go and download it links will be down below for the font link it's thefont.com go there and download right now links will be down below now what you can do is go and just give it go to the style and just stretch it up and then you're gonna go and edit go and just put some spaces after the, your text and click on ok and now you're gonna export the image and click on save to gallery do the same action again with the second word of your name so i'm gonna write new text and give some empty spaces after i after the word and it will be as the same text as we did before and i'm gonna export the image now go and open up Adobe Photoshop Touch and I'm going to be showing you how to make the main banner. Hey guys, now over here go and open up a new project. So the size will be 2048 by 1152. So go and type that and click on OK for that. Now go and get your basic banner template. Links will be down below for that. Get your banner template now. So place it right there. Now what you're gonna do is click on that last layer you got. Click on go to fill and stroke, and get this color right now. So it is like between like here, between the light blue. Just go right there, and there it is. Go and get this color and click on empty layer. Above that, go and get fill and stroke it, and get the black color. Now what you're gonna do is go and click on this polygon selection tool go and select the middle part and then just go and put a line like this zoom out and then just make it like a marked shape and connect the both lines do it again if you have mistaken it like me right there just be careful so that it more just yeah so I've done it again so to do it again so now what you have to do is then click on extract the image and then you're done go and go to the smart tree selection tool so you've done that what you're gonna do now is that um go and just get yourself a color correction so links to down below to get this color correction so make sure you download it right now so like and enlarge it to the size and make sure you put it like this so there's like a like a white white effect now what you're gonna go is go in photo layer and get yourselves your text go to your pixel app folder and click on new like the text that you made what it whatever it's called so get the both text line it up like this make sure the design is like this and now what you're gonna do is merge down both and you're gonna flip it like this like not flip but like rotate it like this and now let's next the next thing is that duplicate the layer twice and so, like unselect one layer and go and remove the layer like this and keep it like just like in the black part just put it like this do it with the same layer that you've got and now you're gonna merge down the both layers that you've done with that and just go and duplicate the layer do it with the same stuff again uh, merge down the boat and duplicate the layer yeah so after you've done that go and merge down the text you've done and go and select the select pixel of the black uh, of the black background that we've made the semi black background and go and click on the text part and go and click on extract after you've done that what you're gonna do is go to the opposite and you can even either do this like keep it in the seven 
like 7% of the opacity and then enable your text and what you're gonna do is drop the shadow if you want you can enlarge the size of the text like this and now what you're gonna do is go in photo layer and get yourselves the icon if you have your like your social media icons go and get your icons right now so I'm gonna get my Instagram icon like place it small enough like, make sure you like make it small enough and then place it right after there and the next thing you're gonna do is go and select the pixel and um, just go in the color part and then you're gonna select like the same color that you did for the back on the background and go and give it a drop shadow make sure you uh, make sure your drop shadow is like a lot lower 19 it's 14 just like that and just keep it like this yeah so now you can go to full layer and get yourself another icon if it's Facebook and Twitter instead so I'm gonna make it smaller Yep, and then I'm gonna like make it another a bit smaller and then yeah So you size it as you desire and go and select the pixel Get the same fill and stroke as the default one that you had And go and give it a drop shadow Make sure uh, your main text has a little drop shadow So there you go guys, there you have a clean banner, a multi-colored clean banner if you do like it, make sure to drop a like and try this banner out. Links will be down below for the font, for the icons that I used, and for the banner template. And if you guys do like it, all the apps will be linked down below in the description. Go ahead and comment down below what you think about this banner recreated. And thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe, like, and thank you. And happy new year for advanced from me.